that is itself is an indictment on the panel. You find a situation where the Nigerian ruling class, especially the Lagos ruling class, Governor Jide Baba Sowolu and uh, Tinobu and the rest, do not even find any apology. They are not apologetic. Here is a debate between the representative of Occupy Lake Target and the representative of another group called Defend Lagos and Protect Lagos. You are already aware that there is a, an Occupy Target protest, a kind of uh, second wave of uh, answers protest to the man for justice that uh, seems to have been lost in the first answers protest. So this is what this is all about. I don't want to dwell so much on the analysis and explanation of this because everything you need is already in the video and the video is already long. I don't like making long videos. So just sit back, listen to the debate and whatever thing you think about it, just drop your comments in the comment section. Thank you greatly for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. Hello, my name is Ade Binkme Olajiga and you are welcome to Punch Lives Debate. Today we are going to be doing something exceptional. Remember last year, October 2020 to be precise, something exceptional happened as there was an NSAS protest that gripped the country. This led, this led to the halt at the payment at Lekki Tollgate and also violence. Prior to this, there was a panel that was set up which was called the Lagos Judicial Panel and is headed by Justice, Justice Doris Okwobo. The panel sat of recent. Out of the nine men panel, five of them agreed for the payment of, agreed for the continuation of the Lekki concession, concession center, which will involve the continuation of payment. Prior to this, there were so many reactions from Nigerians. Some said they should not continue the payment, while others said they should hold on on the payment and this led to the formation of two different groups. We have the Defend, Defend Lagos and we have the Occupy Lekki Gate. With me here, I have the convener of the Defend Lagos. His name is Ajayi Alabi on Okpayemi. And I also have the coordinator of the Occupy Lekki Gate. His name is Adekule Ajayi. So I'll give them the mic to introduce yourself. Please take a stay along. You don't want to miss any of this. All right, Mr. Alabi, please can you introduce yourself properly? Uh, my name is Alabi Okwayemi Olajmeji. I'm the uh, Director General of the Occupy Progressives, and I'm also the Director General of the Defend Lagos, Protect Lagos. I'm a web developer. I'm a programmer. So that's just me. I'm just a short. That's me in short. All right. Thank you very much. So we also give the mic to the coordinator of the Le Occupy Lekki Gate. Mr. Kunle, please introduce yourself. Kunle Wiseman Ajayi is my name. Uh, I'm an activist and a poet. I chair the African Action Congress in Lagos, and I have also been uh, the General Secretary of the United Action for Democracy. Thank you. All right, thank you. We have so many reactions as regards the reopening of the Lekki Gates, and we've been seeing so many flyers, we've been seeing billboards, with people saying they are going to come out to protest again. So what's the mission for Defend Lagos? What's your mission, sir? Actually, um, after so many injuries uh, that have been sustained, after so many violence, after so many fatalities, after so many people rendered homeless, after so many people that lost their job, we think the best thing is not to let another set of protests that is going to incite violence to come out again. You know, it's our duty, apart from being a negotiant, it's our duty as a Nigerian that we should be able to manage whatever is going on in our country. You know, uh, the past protest, uh, the NSAS protest, started uh, some kind of war, but um, in a certain part, it's, um, it's, it's, uh, in a certain part, um, it started inciting violence. Only in Lagos, we have about three local, over, over three uh, prisons that were broke, that were pre over three prison break. We have over four local government that was burned down. We have over 40 people that were rendered homeless. In fact, the palace of the king was also uh, vandalized. A lot of things happened. And this happened within a few days, about two to three days. So um, after seeing the previous record of the NSAS protesters, it is our duty as the people that want to defend Lagos not to allow anything like that to happen again. We don't have problem with anyone protesting. Our main aim and objective is not to allow any protest that will incite any sort of violence. 
everybody has the right to protest. The same way you have the right to protest, the same way other people have the right to walk. You can't say because you want to protest, you block the road. You can't say because you want to protest, you burnt down uh, sectariat. You don't say because you want to protest, you want to uh, you, you, you render people homeless. So our main aim as defend uh, Lagos is not to obstruct any protest. It is everybody's civic rights. It is under the constitution. Our main aim and objective is not to allow any sort of protest. Maybe in the past, that has happened in the past, that you have seen their record, that is going to incite any sort of violence. The thing is that, why will you continue a protest that you have done and you failed woefully? You understand? Why will you, uh, okay, um, due to the time, um, our main aim and objective is not to allow some set of people that have tried a certain protest that incite violence and destruction upon Nigeria not to happen again. So that's just it because of time. All right. According to what Mr. Oladmiji said, he has said a lot, and I know you all will have questions to ask him. So if you have any questions, please ask and we'll relate this to them. He said their main aim is not to allow the violence occur again. Exactly you work. just want to defend the, the state. The state. All right. Any type of violence. All right. Thank you, Mr. Olad Meji. I would also be asking Mr. Kule what he has to say, their aim and their objective. Please, if you have any question, don't forget to ask because we'll relate to them. Thank you. And still, this is still Punch Live's debate. Send your questions you have for them and we'll relate it to them. Thank you. All right, Mr. Kule, what is the main and objective of Occupy before I speak, I'll first and foremost uh, reach out in solidarity, in pains, to the bodies of those who were terminated because they did what my friend here just spoke about, saying your right, your right to protest, enshrined in chapter 2 of the Nigerian Constitution. And you find a situation where the Nigerian ruling class, especially the Lagos ruling class, Governor Jide Baba Sowolu and uh, Tinobu and the rest, do not even find any apology. They are not apologetic. Just within 100 days, without coming out to say who removed the cameras here, which were seen live workers of the Lekki Concessional Company. In fact, by now, those who removed the camera those who are in charge of Lekki Constitutional Company are supposed to be being tried for murder as it is today. Two, all of those who were protesting in Lekki till the violence started. What is the violence? The violence started in the evening of October 2020. Before the evening of October 2020, for all the 10 days that the protest had, there was no gunshots. Not a case of somebody using knife against another person at Lekki. We do not even ever have a case of somebody slapping another person. But immediately, there was an illegal coffee, which even the time of curfew have not started, because coffee was to start by 9 p.m. But by 6.45 p.m. in the evening, by 6.45 p.m. in the evening, the Lagos ruling class, led by Jide Shawolu, decided to send soldiers, and in fact, General Taiwo said, and I quote, in front of the Lekki panel, that we in the army are not happy that the Lagos State government is denying that they didn't invite us. And the Lagos State government never responded. They lied over 10 times over these cases. Till date, it is on record that the Lagos State government invited the army. It is on record, and it was ascertained that the panel, that the army used live bullets on the protesters. It is also on record that we have been able to showcase over 100 persons who were injured. It is also on record that Premium Times went ahead to show us dead bodies of people that were flowing on river. It is also on record that even Point newspaper have been able to show and interview a lot of people who have wounds from live bullets. Now let me tell you, the same Lekki Concessional Company that is not above the law, have decided not to show us or even submit evidences. That is itself is an indictment on the panel, that the panel is compromised. Two, the panel sat down when quorum was not formed. The Europe representatives were not there. 
the civil society representatives were not there. So I want to say that the position of Justice Okuobi and the four other persons are compromised positions. And because where there is no law, you don't abide by such murderous laws. The Lagos State government have decided not to have representative at the panel. The army have left the panel. Police never came to even send representatives on the Lekki toll gate till date. Shoyi Tinubu, who is in charge of Lekki Concessional Company, has not appeared before that same panel. Till date, a lot of persons, even Shoyi Tinubu gave evidence in the press as to what happened at the Lekki toll gate and said that it is the governor that ordered them to remove the camera. So, he who comes to equity must come with pure, clean hands. What we are saying is that there can be no peace when there is no equal right and justice. Why we are coming out on Saturday is that we are going to be doing a great disservice to our friends who constitutionally, legally, and before man and God and human rights decided to come to the street to peacefully say, this is our rights. So by Saturday, we are going to be marching at Lekki Gate, and not only at Lekki Gate, at every part of this whole country, because SARS itself has not been ended. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, sir. But you've still not stated your aim to come out and protest. You, you've still not said the particular reason. Is it him? He said, for, for instance, he said that they are coming out to make sure that the violence against um, Lagos State and the people should end. But what is the exact reason? Are you coming out, like you said, are you coming out because of the souls that were lost or what exactly? We are coming here to, to get justice for the souls that were lost and to also demand that the five points demand that were raised before the federal government, none of them has been adhered to today. In fact, one of the major ones is the salary of police and soldiers. I want soldiers and policemen to come out openly to say whether they have been paid the salary that was promised by the federal government. That has not been done. So it's a continuation of the fact that the reason why we came to the toll gates has not been fulfilled. And the injustice meted upon us through a massacre, you get it, has not been corrected. There has not been justice. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. This is still Punch Live Debate, and I will urge you to send your questions via the comment section. I will still go back to Mr. Olajimeji Alabi. Please, I want to ask you a question. It is everywhere on the internet that the people coming out for Defend Lagos are hoodlums and are sponsored by the government. Please, what do you have to say about this? Um, that is a totally false claim. That is a totally false claim. Because how can people that claim to defend the, 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 the state be on hoodlums. Does that sound well? It is not. We are a group of youth, as you can see. We are a group of youth. It's part. 80% of us are youth. We are a group of youth that has no business with everyone, anyone that is coming to... to uh, we, have no, we have no business with anyone that um, uh, want to come out to protest on the 13th of February. Maybe they want to protest for some souls that they claimed that were lost, that was not actually lost. We are not out here for people that claim they want to, uh, to they, that, 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 that they are saying because the federal government did not allow them. The thing is that, see, I will go back to what my brother here, Mr. Jaido said. He said, the youth are not represented in that panel. The question is, did the youth make any move to be in that panel? When they first started, we, are, we were all watching. Did the move, the people that started this, people like DJ Switch, people like uh, Reno, where are they now? They are not even in Nigeria. You started something, you incited it, you led it, you should be in that panel. What will be representing you? If not you, if not you that you led it. I, I said something earlier. We are not political, politically affiliated with any political party. We don't care about PDP. We don't care about APC. Our aim and objective is, don't come on the 13th of February and come out to say you want to start a protest. The protest, you can start it, but don't let it... Don't let violence back that protest up. You started a protest, over 40 people lost their homes just in this lucky. You started a protest, over three local governments got burnt, and you called yourself mature-minded. You started a protest, and, and um, rape cases occurred across, this, uh, 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 across the nation. Okay, now you claim hoodlums. Let's assume there were certain peaceful protesters. Let's assume there's a certain hoodlums. When you started it, hoodlums, hoodlums mixed with two people. That shows that even you people cannot even coordinate each other. 
for hoodlums to be able to penetrate your means that means that you guys have no capability you just want to come out and make noise rant so people will know that you are available we are a member of occupy progressives for the last five months we have been able to 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 to, to help people in the hospitals we have been able to help uh, people pay their school fees see a lot of things is going on in nigeria since 1999 since when the democracy started but the most important thing is are you ready to complain or are you ready to complement the effort where the government were unable to do we have big boreholes we have built some roads we are youths we are not millionaires we are not billionaires we see we, uh, during the hensas protest over 80 million naira was donated my sister if i have that 80 million naira i'm going to have i'm going to help a lot of communities i'm going to help a lot of students return to schools these people they just want to come out they just want to rant make noise you understand what are they doing collectively to make this nation grow that is the question all right thank you very much we are still um, on to li punch lives debate and we have the convener the convener and the coordinator of occupy lucky lagos and defend lagos so you said that so-called people some people were not um some people did not die at the let go gate stating that their reason for coming out on saturday is not strong enough um, are you are you aware that some people died or are you trying to say you don't care about the lives that died that day <laughs> or is it that some people did not die i want to understand that aspect thank you i'm going to explain that very well on the 15th of october the federal government put out uh set up judiciary panel actually for the agitation of the hensas that means that that means that um the federal government and the state government have it to the request of these NSAS protesters. On the 15th of October, when did um, the Lekki massacre happen? I think it's on the 20th. Now, as a responsible citizens, your duty is to go back to the table plan. Okay, they have said, they've told us that they are going to set up this and this. You went on on the 16th to protest again after the federal government assured you. Let's assume you don't believe that. You went on on the 17th again. You went on on the 18th, 19th, curfew. They, 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 they imposed a curfew. When they post a curfew, you guys still come out. And when they come out, we saw videos of protesters holding guns, holding knives. We, we saw it, please. We saw it. We saw it like we shared it. Protesters holding guns, holding knives, holding a lot of, I mean, uh, something that is very harmful. And in that kind of situation, you agree with me that there's a possible stampage that will happen. The BBC reporter was there. It was, she was live there. She said, the army came, and I quote, they start shooting at the head. Even CNN that it was not there came and said one person died. We've heard a lot of about six to ten conspiracy theory. We had about six to ten conspiracy theories that was not even on ground. If this one said the story, this one is different, this one is different. The BBC that was there, that she showed us the little clip, she said that the army came and was shooting under her, but people were running and she said there was a possible stampede there. So if I was to believe that people died at Lekki, or if I'm not to believe, I will need a concrete evidence. As in, I, I will need a source whereby about 20 media houses can agree to, with evidence. But this, CNN say one person died. Uh, DSU say 13 people, 78 people. We don't even know which one to believe. Thank you very much. Um, you can still send in your questions as we are going to be asking them the question. And this is still Punch Live Debate. I'll be going back to Mr. Kunle. He said that um, there are no evidences that people died and there's a whole lot that he has said. What do you have to say as regards to what he said? You know that there is a professionalism in lying. Some people, when they lie, they try to say it often and often, just like Joseph Goebbels had taught them. You know, Joseph Goebbels was the chief propagandist of Adolf Hitler. And so fascists use lies as a very, very cogent tool in suppressions. So you can find this, my brother here, have been trying to master all the lies that were forced out. In fact, they acted a lot of films. You get it? They even brought the chief dramatist in Nigeria, Agent Fashola, you get it, to come and look for a camera that they didn't even keep anywhere, a camcorder. You understand what I'm saying? So you, when you see people trying to master lies, you understand? You understand where they are coming from. They resembled their leaders, their ruling class. The same people who lied, first and foremost, that no shooting was done at Lekki, and when they lied that there was no shooting at Lekki, they came back to say, oh, there was shooting. They later came back to say that, oh, only one person died. We only saw one in the hospital. The same hospital that they were in that night. Papa Sjidefan Sowolu was at Reddit in hospital that night, trying to 
mop up all the madness, the genocide that they have done. But that hospital had come out at the panel to say openly that we treated a lot of cases. People died. Look, I'm not going to go to CNN, nor will I go to BBC. You get it? But I'm going to go directly to the video that was submitted by Lekki Concessional Company to the edited video. Despite all the editings, it was the only days that lies could go with 800 meters. But now, the lies couldn't even go with 10 meters. Because they edited the video, but when we were playing the video at the panel, the video showed us. In fact, you had more soldiers shooting directly at protesters. You only had a few trying to shoot up. Because it was always part of the drama. Genatawe himself, who came to that listing, was the chief dramatist in terms of the shooting drama. You get it? In terms of the other political dramas, it was supervised by Fashola, Sowo, Olu, and the rest. And they came with a lot of dra dramas. But you know, the allies continued to fall flat. And that is why the army had to withdraw. And that is why, till date, Sowo, Olu want to use force to re reopen the toll gate. I used to wonder that aside the lies, the level of greediness that you find in these people, this lucky toll gate used to be a private venture. They had to come up to say, oh, no, 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 it's a public venture. So that people won't say, ah, you people have seen all of these billions, all these wires. So when my friend was talking of government being responsible, you need to ask him that who is the cause of Awawa? Who is the cause of a lot of child courtism you find in Lagos? Since 1999, my colleagues, responsible leaders, quote and unquote, have not been able to build a higher institution, not even a technical college in Lagos. Since 1999, our Tinubu's boys have been there from Fashola to Ambode to Sawolu. But they were able to build Orienta. They were able to build a lot of personal private ventures. You understand? What we are saying is that come Saturday, Nigerians, Lagosians, everywhere you are, don't allow them to spit on your conscience. Don't allow them to spit on the blood of the people. Don't allow them to make the injured, the over 500 injured people to continue to be injured. Let me also tell you that they also not only attacked protesters, they also attacked journalists. The case of Palumi Onifade was there. Who filmed the House of Rep member in Lagos here, from Agbado Odu, shooting at protesters. Within two days, the young man was arrested and extrajudicially killed. So we also had a lot of people that were picked from the different hospitals and dropped at the military hospital. Till date, there is no record of how they have been. Many of the parents who were afraid because of torture, because of a lot of maneuvering, are coming out to say the truth. The wind has blown and we are seeing the pouch of the hen cruelly nude. As far as I'm concerned, that is blood money. Because the life of one individual is more important than the money that is with the Lekki Concessional Company. They should come and tell us who owns the Lekki Concessional Company. It is Alpha Beta. Alpha Beta is the one collecting money. So it is Tinubu's money that they want to reopen after sacrificing a lot of lives at the Lekki Togate. Let me tell you, when they were to open Lekki Togate, they killed people here. Yeah. They arrested almost all the landlords, the major landlords at Lekki, and they fought the toll on them. Why the Togate protest also came again? They are also using blood. So it has been blood money over and over again. Negotiants say no to blood money. Nigerians say no to blood money. Thank you. All right, but um, Tinubu has come out to say that he is not in charge of Lekki Togate. Immediately after the protest, we saw clips where Tinubu said he is not in charge of Lekki Togate. You mentioned Orenta also. He said he's not in charge of so many um, business organizations. What do you have to say as regards that? The question is who owns Alpha Beta? Who owns Alpha Beta? The person who owns Alpha Beta is the owner of Lekki Concessional Company. So the people should do, see, let me tell you something. I have said it beforehand that they are masters in lies. And the mastery of their lies cannot change the truth. Because it is before that truth used to run 800 meters. You get it? Or it's a long race or marathon. No. Truth now is five meters. Thank you. All right. I'll still go back to uh, Mr. Ola Dimitri. What do you have to say to counter whatever he, or, or what he has the said? Is that you, everybody here will agree with me that their main aim, their main aim and their main aim and objective is not even to come out and protest because of the people that died. 
their problem. He mentioned something. He quoted uh, the, 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 the uh, general title that came to the uh, judiciary panel the other time. He quoted him and later came back and said that this man is acting drama. How can you quote someone and later come back to say he's acting yeah. drama? Does that make sense? And again, the thing is that he's, he's, he's emphasizing on blood money, blood money. What is our business with anybody's blood money? We are here to defend Lagos from any intruder to inside violence. We are talking about Tinubu, they are talking about Fashola. You are, that means that you have special grudges against these people. And that is not our business. If you have special grudges against them, take them to court. That is the legal way. Don't choose the grudges against them to affect the people of Lagos like you did. How can I be saying uh, Tinubu? What concerns me with Tinubu? What concerns me with Fashola? What concerns me with Sonolu? So because of those people, you make life uncomfortable for Lagosians to protest. That does not make sense. That does not bring any type of common sense. We want to come out and protest. Have a tangible reason to protest. You have been diverting to Tinubu. You have been diverting to people that, that, that own this company. That's not our business. So this toll gate was your, is your main problem. That's the reason why you can't want to come out and protest on the 10th of February. That is not encouraging. If, if, this is, if this is your reason to come and protest on the 13th of February, my brother, go to court. Go eat. Do it constitutionally. Do it legally. Don't affect the people that are moving around this road. Don't let it affect other people's business. In my street, someone died. Someone that goes to hospital weekly because of stroke died in the street because this place was blocked. Some people lose, lose a lot of businesses. See, I don't. I, I said it earlier that I don't have problem with anybody. If you want to come and protest because of the people you think that died, my brother, my sister, I don't have problem with that. Come out, protest. Are people that died, but please don't affect the normal Lagosians. Don't block this road. Don't stop others people. See, uh, what concern enters with uh, burning federal uh, secretariat, the secretariat? See, the violence started on the 16th of the violence st uh, started on the 16th of uh, on the 16th of um, October. On the 16th of October, when the violence started, it started in Benin. In Benin, um, Belgium was recorded on 19th of October. It was not even this. Uh, on the 20th that started this violence and protest. This violence and protest has started before before this moment. Hoodlums are taking chances. Now you people that want to protest, that you are claiming you are fighting for the right of people, how will you make sure that this hoodlum don't attack the people you are fighting for? If you have a problem with Tinobu, deal with him. If you have a problem with Sonolu, deal with him. If you have a problem with Fajra, deal with him. We don't fucking care about those people. We don't care about them. Our main aim and objective are the people, and that should also be your aim. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Oladimiji. On social media, many people have come out to say um, the Defend Lagos team are tribalistic. Okay. Some people are saying you have a particular tribe you are trying to come against. What do you have to say about that? Um, people that believe it was tribalistic are people that doesn't have much that are people that doesn't have uh, much insight about what we are doing. Yeah, this is Mr. Mohammed from Kano is my partner. It's actually my PA. He's from Kano. And uh, Mr. Where is Mr. Nyon? Uh, Mr. Uche. Okay, Mr. Uche. Mr. Uche. He said, uh, the guy said something that touched me. He said, he said, I came to Lagos with nothing. I came to Lagos with nothing. And when I was in Lagos, I started having some properties. And some people want to come and burn it down. <laughs> when this entire thing happened, Yoruba properties was destroyed. Igbo properties was destroyed. Aousa properties was destroyed. Kanuri properties was destroyed. Takpa properties was destroyed. See, when violence erupts, it doesn't know tribe. It doesn't know religion. So anyone that says it is tribalistic, it is probably because they are personally tribalistic. It is personally because tribalistic. If you hear from people saying, is it, must this be only Lagos? I think there are people who are kind of um, right because Lagos is not the holy place you can protest. You can protest in Alhambra. You can protest in Oyo State. You can protest in Kano. Why must it be Lagos? That means the reason why it is Lagos, you know, is because they ate Tinumbu, they ate Fashola, they ate Songolu. That is the reason. Me, this my brother has not mentioned. And in Anambra, during Peter Obi time, they killed, South killed a lot of youths. Why didn't he mention it? All right, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Olajimeji. All right, we have the questions rolling in. And I have a question for Mr. Kunle. Daniel's Dre Amo on Facebook asked, he said, misplaced priority. Mr. Kule, why are you fighting for the families of those that died? Did you lose someone too? Uh, I'm a human being. 
Injustice to one person is injustice to all of us. I would have been killed. I led the protest at Alausa, and soldiers also took us up. We were only much more coordinated than what you had at the Lekki Togate. And let me also say this, for clearance sake, that the people you see arguing for Saturday that they want to defend Lagos today are just online uh, 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 coordinators. The real coordinators have started this morning. You can find it all around Lekki. We had about eight, nine vans of so, police officers today coming everywhere in Lekki, attacking everybody. So you have a situation that people that you find trying to find a voice for the defend Lagos are not defending Lagos. They are only defending the stolen properties of Lagosians by the ruling class of Lagos. What we are saying is that it was not NSAS that caused the violence. It is clear those who caused the violence. You can't be shooting at people who had play cards and you call those who had play cards hoodlums. The major hoodlums are those with guns. You can't be shooting people who were singing national anthem and you call them hoodlums. Those who were shooting are the real hoodlums. You get it? So we know the terrorists. We know that it is the Nigerian ruling class that are the terrorists. And we are telling our friend here that he is not defending any Lagos. He is not defending any Lagosians. Lagosians are so happy that they are not collecting money from them every now and then at a blood money toll gate by one individual. And that money does not have anything to do on them. Because as it is today, most Lagosians who have been living in Lagos do not get anything from the Lagos government. Not even school fees, free school fees, nothing from Lagos. What we get is massive taxation over taxation every time, multiple taxation everywhere. So, and you find land grabbing. Thank you. All right. all right, thank you very much. This is still Punch Live debate, and I will urge you to send your questions. We have another question for uh, another question for Mr. Olaj Meji from Comrade Innocent AGK on Facebook. He said, "You saw protesters holding knives and gun. Oh my God! How much did they pay this guy? So, how much have you been paid?" I've not been paid anything. I've not been paid anything to do anything. So I think that question is inconsequential because it is an intimidating question that is trying to put some words in my mouth. So that question is not valid. I've not, I've, I've not been paid anything. And you can go and check my record on Facebook. My official Facebook handle is Alabi Okoyemi Olabi Dibeji. During the COVID-19 time, I did over 800,000 Naira giveaways and uh, support to a lot of people when it comes to health, school, uh, health and feeding, because during the COVID-19, people were not moving. So their major, uh, their major uh, aims and objectives, their major problem is health and uh, feeding. So I'm a programmer, and um, I, over last year, I can even print my statement of, my statement of account out. I'm only using one EcoBank account. You can see it. If you see anybody transfer money to me in terms of Lagos State Government or, or PDP or anything, then you, 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 you challenge me. You understand? So nobody is paying me. You can check my records. Everybody know me. When it's Alabi, they, 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 they call me kind of philanthropist. I'm a web developer, and you know you also you, you notice about programmers and web developer. We make cool money. So that is what I do to help. Nobody paid me any money. I said to be, uh, I said earlier that I don't have any problem with them protesting. It's accusing us of lying. We won't accuse them of anything. We won't accuse them. Our own is let them come out. Let them do. Let them do their protest peacefully. Let them not repeat what they did during that October 20th. In fact, before we come out, we are working for a police permit because we want to come out legally. If we don't have that police permit, we are not coming out. We will stay in our door. So if they do anything to Lagos State, that means it is Lagos State's fault. He said we are lying. I'm not saying he's lying. I'm not saying he's saying the truth. But let his conscience judge him. He said something. He said they are only fighting for Lagosian property. And I quote him, they can reverse the video. We are fighting for Lagosian properties and, and their sweat. We can't come to... He has not admitted that the SS, the previous NSAS protest, has caused a lot of dilution, a lot of inconsequential things, a lot of discussions, a lot of fatal incidents in Lagos. He's just talking about Tinubu, he's just talking about Fashola, he's just talking about uh, President Boa, just talking about what, what is our business with that? All right, thank talk you about the people, the, talk about what that protest you did cost. You understand? Talk about what it costs. Don't talk about what. Uh, don't talk about those those people. Those. Uh, All right. Thank you very much. Th thank you very much. We have. So I would like to ask one more question. You said you are coming out to defend Lagos, and we know the work of the police is to defend lives and properties. Are you trying to say you are coming out to assist them? I, do you have plans on protesting? Because I saw some um, flyers as regards protest. What are your plans? 
to defend Lagos? Is it to come out to um, stop them? As you have said, you said that while they protested, there were, there were people that destroyed properties and a lot. Are you coming out to make sure they don't destroy something? Or what exactly are you coming out to do we on are that coming day? out to make sure that people know that there are people in this Lagos that don't accept nonsense. And the nonsense in terms of, we won't attack anybody. We are not protecting any vehicles or something. We just want to come out for people to see that for every, po uh, for, for every negative, there's a positive. If you put out your flyer out that, yes, we are coming out to occupy Lekki, we'll put it out that, yes, we are here to defend the girls. See, I said earlier something before. We are not target guys. We are cool guys. We left our business this morning to come here. The thing is that we don't have problem with anyone protesting. Yes, I'm trying to ask, how do you want to defend Lagos aside from the job are, of the police? We are, we are trying to do it with our constitution with our constitutional rights. We are coming to we are coming out with our constitutional which is just ordinary protest. We are just coming out. If they think otherwise, then it is their normal thing because that's what they are used to. <laughs> but we are coming out to just protest. If they think anything, if they say we are lying, oh not today. Uh -huh, not be today, they say, but we are coming out. With our concern, all right, Mr. Kole, what do you, what do you have to I'm say? I'm responding to that. Said, yes. uh, you know, for the, I've, been, I've, been a, I've been an activist for over two, a decade and a half. I don't think I've met this man in action or in protest anywhere before, protesting for anything, human rights and all the rest. So we know those who are protesting in terms of their protest and we know where they are coming from. But there were some protesters during answers. At a point when we're having protests at Alausa, you get it, Rashid Adagun brought cutlass and knife to lead some protesters too who were defending Lagos. So we know it when people say they are defending Lagos. You get it? We, we know it when they are defending Lagos, they come with soldiers without tag. You get it? And we have it on good authority that at this so-called defend Lagos, the Tinubu has activated the 50 thugs in Team Lagos. You get it? And they are the ones they are going to be giving their uniforms to say they are coming to defend Lagos. What we know is that we are the many, there are very few. During the end SARS, the kind of mass action that we were able to pull was able to show to the Nigerian ruling class that they were liars. Before, they said nobody can protest all over the world. But Nigerians in Lagos, in Oyo, and let me also let him know that protest on Saturday is going to happen in Oyo. It's going to happen as far as Adamawa State. Because Nigerians cannot continue the way we are going. Even if I, I don't have family, I also have families who bandits are attacking. I know that there is a spate of mass insecurity all over the country today. So it is conscientious for people who are of good sense to actually come out, not to defend the establishment in defending one Lagos, but to defend the working people, to defend the youths without employment. You get it? And to defend and to also defend massively a lot of Nigerians who wants a better world, a better Lagos, and a better Nigeria. All right, thank you, Mr. Kunle. We have another question from Facebook. Olokun Latif on Facebook asked, it said, Must you block road before you protest? Yes, the road belongs to the working people and does not belong to anybody. Now, when people protest, when people protest, when people protest, eh? In 2014, November, General Muhammad Dubuari, Ashiwaju Bolatinubu and the rest led a mass protest in Abuja. And no cars moved. No buses moved. You get it? It is a pe period of civil disobedience. And in fact, if the people don't want it, they won't join the protest. One of the signs that Nigerians supported the answers was that while we were even protesting, we didn't block the road all through. We were moving on lanes. One lane, most protesters moved on one lane. But what does the cars? What the cars were doing was that they were honing. So when you move close to the protesters, you hoot to show that I'm in support. So all through the protest, Lagosians are not complaining, Nigerians are not complaining. So nobody should cry more than the people. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Kunle. Mr. Um, Mr. Oladmiji, from what Mr. Kunle said, I have a question to ask. He, I just want to, he said the, there, will be, uh, there will be protesters in other states of the country. Do you have people in other states that are also going to defend other states? Or is it only Lagos states you want to defend? We have people. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm an my, my dad is an indigenous of Lagos. My mom is an indigenous of the Oyo he mentioned. 
are a school in Maltech, Madibu Adama University of Technology in Adamawa that he mentioned. So that is to tell you that even Lagos that he mentioned, we have people in many places. In fact, we have a program that we are about to, uh, to, 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 to commission in this, um, this February in Kogi State. We are about to, uh, to, to, to give students school bags and so we have branches everywhere. And our name is Occupy Progressive. And the aim and objective is to occupy Nigeria with progressive-minded people. That's just it. So we have a lot of. So that means that we have a lot of. We have a lot of uh, branches all over Nigeria, including in the southeast. You understand? So it's not just a Nigerian issue. As I said before, this is my Igbo brother and um, this is my Kanu brother. We came together because we live in the same hood in Lagos. So it's not just in Lagos, sir. All right, thank you very and much. I'm sorry, I need to counter what he said. He said they are doing this for job for, for youth that are not employed. My brother, Lagos State have the highest employment statistics in the whole of West Africa. Go and check it. I know, no, it's a challenge. We can do it after this program. Let's talk this government. Lagos State is the fifth largest economy in Africa. Go and check it again. I'm challenging you. It's not, it's not a lie. You can call me a lawyer. So when you are emphasizing on Lagos, please, please let him respond. He wants to respond. Okay. He, want to he respond. wants to re respond. Okay. See, when people don't know economics, they come out with unnecessary things that are wrong. When you say, when you say, when you say an economy is large, when you say an economy is large, and we talk about unemployment, I'm a labor leader, and I want to tell you very factually that you should come and tell me, is it the civil service? that Lagos have been employing. Tell me the companies that Lagos State Government has. Tell me the industries that they have. We are used to have a situation of where there is Odua Companies Limited. It was under the Odua Companies, which Awolo and Co. started, Jack Conde, that you have a co-hotel and some other hotels. Tell me which hotel has Lagos State Government built? All the hotels that you find with a bill, you know that there is supposed to be a set of industries that you call the bill holdings too. But what the bill holdings have been done is being privatized. When you talk about employment statistics, we are talking about how many persons has government really given employment. In Lagos State here, most of the people here are self-employed. So when you talk about economics and the employment ratings, you don't talk about people that are self-employed and add them to your own statistics. That is Jagabani's lies. All right, thank you very much. When it comes to employment, the moment you are self-employed, my brother, one Jackie promise, uh, you are employed. The, 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 the term self-employed entails that you have a business that you are personally doing. I'm, I'm self-employed, and I employed a lot of people under me also. So I don't know which school you go. I told you that self-employed is not employment. <laughs> that self-employment is not employment. My sister, Lagos State have over 125,000 people just to receive it. And the Lagos State has created social amenities for you to come to Lagos, invest, and, and they have created a neighboring environment which these people destroyed. They destroyed the BLTs, they destroyed the Secretariat, they destroyed the they, 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 they even destroyed the King Palace, and they said they are protesters. They said hoodlums entered them. How, how are we going to be sure that the next protest they are going to do uh, that these hoodlums will not mix with them. As I said before, our pro their protest is not our problem. And our own protest should not be their problem. See, let me tell you something. If your problem is Lagos, that means you have a lot of problem. Chronologically. If, 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 problem, if, if Lagos is your problem, you have, you have a lot of problem. Lagos State has provided, Lagos State has provided things that cities in West Africa has never provided. If I'm wrong about this, I want my brother to challenge me instantly. Name a city in Lagos, in West Africa, that has done better than Lagos. And this same Lagos is the hub of West Africa. This same Lagos you want to destroy because you're agitating, because you ate, because, because you, you ate Tinumbu. You've mentioned Tinumbu here. You've mentioned Buhari. Me personally, I've not even mentioned any politician. That's to show you that we don't come for any politician. You mentioned, and, and now the people you even mentioned, they are even all APC. My brother, thank you, Mr. PDP. Thank you <laughs> you've, you mentioned all APC without even PDP. That means that you are even partial. We don't have business with APC. We don't have business with PDP. We don't have problem with ABBA. Our main aims and objective is a better Nigeria. As you can see, may Nigeria succeed. That is what is in our car. Check all our car here. May Nigeria succeed. Our problem is for Nigerian to succeed, not okay, not after all right. You have another question from Facebook from Moshud Shakiru. He said, Defend Lagos. Remind me again, 
what's the use of the Nigerian police? The, the use of Nigerian police is to, de, uh, is, to de, is, is to intervene in internal security. And what we call, well, what we say, defend Lagos. Defend Lagos is a metaphor. You understand? It's not that we want to come with cutlass or guns. Okay. Thank you very much. Mr. Kule, do you have any other thing to say before the end of the show? Yes, I, I want to say very frantically that Lagosians who have conscience, who know very strategically and importantly that the NSAS protest was largely peaceful until the Lagos state government brought out hoodlums to attack it. Hmm. And we repelled them. And then they brought uniformed hoodlums in soldiers and police to start shooting at protesters. Hours before the curfew comment commenced. You get it? So you should know those who broke the law. The Lagos state government broke the law. The soldiers broke the law. The police officers broke the law. And the team Lagos they used to attack protesters with hoodlums in terms of saying they were defending Lagos. What they are doing now is to official is to have some official propaganda towards the crudity, the wickedness, and the massacre that they did during the last time. By Saturday, Lagosians are going to show them that all of these lies and deceits have we have long passed that period. The period we are in now is the period for us to get drastic justice because we believe that another Lagos is possible.